Hey everybody, what is up? Kevin Cage back with another video on the one and only XRP. And if it's your first time to the channel for the daily XRP news and information, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get into some information. First off, I did see Mr. BXRP on Twitter share this. This is a really cool website, so I just wanted to share it around. It's called fiatleak.com. And again, you can do the slash XRP and you can look at different fiats and currencies as well just to see what's going on, such as ADA, you know, Cardano. And actually just see the real-time transactions occurring. So we can actually see, look at these trades on various exchanges, Binance, Huobi, Coinbean, OKX. And you're actually seeing what's happening. It's just a really cool way to see this. And just for fun, it actually does remind me of the illustration that that one character, like the Ripple Riddler, made in a video showing the transactions increasing, the liquidity and those you know gateways opening up and releasing the floodgates. Just something fun. I really like illustrations like this. I um, so just wanted to show you. And of course, you have the fiat currencies here as well. Korean won, US dollar, euro. All right. Japanese yen, Australian dollar. So just seeing all of this occur. And I'm excited to see as we ramp up if we're going to see an actual illustration of this building up over time as well, just to be much, much faster. All right. Sitting at 32 cents and up 1%. We'll see if that's sustainable. I hope we drop a little more because I'm on a mission. <laughs> But um, yeah, we'll see what's going on. Next, this is actually a really cool thread. So this is Charles Lee, and it's at guest, the number one, and then X. So guest one X. And let's just check this out. So this is completely speculation on the future XRP price behavior. And he calls this the XRP price step ladder formation. And this is completely speculation, but I want to share this because it's interesting to consider. And I like, you know, this is a channel where we can discuss ideas, discuss the future potential, and then go over relevant news as well, and then make informed decisions based on that. So if there are now, so if there are now quite a few institutions running on XRapid, including MoneyGram, that could potentially mean the price is being sustained at a certain range so that minimal price volatility in three to four seconds is retained. And now this is temporary and this is complete speculation, but let's stay with this and entertain this idea. So there will be a stage in the near future where the current XRP price range becomes a bottleneck to liquidity to facilitate all the concurrent XRapid transactions, concurrent meaning at the same time, because the size of the pipe would simply not be large enough. So what happens? They have to increase that pipe and go to that next step, such as this ladder analogy, this ladder metaphor. So that's where the step ladder formation of price would come in, stepping the XRP price up to the next price range where the size of the pipe would then be sufficient for the amount of XRP or X rapid volume at that time. All right, so now let's go on to the next step. If we think of the opposite case where there is no existence of such a price range to hold that, you know, and mitigate that volatility, then sudden volatilities could be damaging to both the institutions transacting in terms of volatile transaction costs, as well as the reputation of XRP, the digital asset, and even Ripple, the company, for all of their consumer or customers and clients. All right, the transactions on the network will likely grow exponentially over time. So let's check this graphical out really quick. So if we take the red curve as the network transaction growth over, say, the next two years, then the stepladder function is likely to follow the slope of the red curve. We're seeing the exponential growth here. As we continue, smaller price increases and longer times between the steps could potentially be observed in the beginning. But as the network transactions exponentially ramp up, the price increase in each step is likely to be higher and the time between each step is likely to be shorter. And this is my personal belief, but always your own research. So the step ladder function theory revolves around the equation of exchange in monetary economics. And as we can see here, MV equals PQ. So this is the monetary base multiplied by the velocity of the money. And this is actually equivalent to the price times the quantity. And now this shows the relationship between money, supply, income velocity, the price level, and real output. So in Ripple, let's see if I can even pronounce her last name, Susan Athey, Athey, valuation model, it is illustrated that MV equals Y. So remember, this is monetary base times the velocity of money equals Y, where Y is actually the transaction value in dollars per period. So therefore, XRP price, P in this scenario, times the quantity of XRP, Q, can be said to be directly proportional to the XRP transaction volume, Y. Hence, PQ equals Y. 
All right, and we have transaction demand. You could read this just straight out of the book. But therefore, as the extra transactional volume from MoneyGram, other X Rapid partners, as well as other participants of XRP settlement, for example, Corda Settler, which could be a complete monster and overtake Ripple, in my opinion, and totally skyrocket the value of XRP, ramps up exponentially, the price of XRP could likely follow the same exponential curve, but in a step ladder formation. This theory could also potentially explain why XRP has been trading in this range for quite a while, sitting in that 30 to 50 cent range for a very, very long time. A lot of you know, newer investors are frankly frustrated. It could also explain why the price of some of the other digital assets and these other altcoins have been going up, but seems to have no impact on the price of XRP. I know we argue that you know all altcoins are still coupled to Bitcoin, yet XRP acts a little differently. We've seen other coins have higher gains, whereas XRP is just maintaining this price range, and it can be very frustrating. So again, this is all speculation, but it would make sense is they're trying to ramp up in different stages. Now, the company has never said this, to my knowledge. This is pure speculation. I want to know what your guys' thoughts are on this and if this would make sense to you. Because um, personally, I just believe this and I want to emphasize this. Smaller price increases and longer times between the steps could potentially be observed in the beginning. But as the network transactions exponentially ramp up, remember, we're building that liquidity. The price increases in each step is likely to be higher and that time between each step is shorter. That's my personal belief and how we're going to see everything work. So it's kind of like that snowball effect. You hear me say that in every single video. Next, Matthew Linney on, Twi on Twitter. Swift not happy with the Fed faster payments initiation. And again, I have the article right here. I mean, it's pretty, it's like three pages if you want to check this out. But um, essentially, Swift's response to the Federal Reserve System's request for comments on potential Federal Reserve actions to support interbank settlement of faster payments. And of course, you know, Swift wouldn't be happy because they know that their inferior can't really compete with Ripple. But as we can see here, no response from Swift. <laughs> if the reserve banks develop a liquidity management tool, what type of tool would be preferable and why? No response. Requires a bank of transfer combination of the above alternative approach tool that allows an automatic transfer of balances based on pre-established thresholds and limits pretty funny would a liquidity management tool need to be available 24 7 365 they just don't frankly i don't think they have the funds the infrastructure a lot of them are old timers and a lot of you know the board members are even r3 so i don't think this is going to even be in swift's reign and that's fine i think that they're you know whether it's R3, Ripple, or any other solutions, I think that they can still benefit Swift. I don't think Swift is going to just disappear. Um, but, you know, we'll see. It's a crazy market. Okay, even this person just caught my eye. Swift is being threatened by Instex and SIPs. And we're aware SIPs, you could say, is the Chinese version of Swift as well in the payment world. All right, next, Matthew Linney again. MoneyGram going after India's digital wallets. And just to give you a quick synopsis right here. So partnership with multiple wallets can help us grow fast in India's remittance market, said by MoneyGram. Pretty interesting because we already know that Ashish Birla of Ripple has said that they already have over 50% of all the Indian banks in their pipeline as RippleNet partners. Does not mean they're using XRP right away, but they are in the pipeline. Yet, MoneyGram has hundreds of corridors. And so now they're looking to partnership with multiple wallets and they're talking about growing in India's remittance market. Do you think Ripple's pushing them to do this now that they have a lot of equity and money grab? Makes you wonder. Plans within plans, guys. You got to connect these dots. This is how you make investments. Granted, all investment, all investing is still gambling. These, this is the type of stuff I do. Like if you saw my room, I'm just a med scientist with, you know, pins and thread on my wall connecting all the dots. Next, this is just a funny thing shared by Crypto Fever, Smith Style 84. Right here, that look that Bitcoin maxis or maximalists have when they realize that Bitcoin's fastest transaction happened on the XRP ledger. And again, maxis, maximalists, people that are completely all in on Bitcoin. They believe everything else, you know, doesn't really have a use case or utility, or they're just largely a believer in the technology of Bitcoin, which I respect, but I just feel like they're not really informed and they kind of have a myopic approach to things when there's other options as well to help revolutionize the world. And being a complete anarchist all the way is just not realistic, in my opinion. Um, again, the government's run by people. We're all human beings doing the very best we can. And you have to learn to, I guess, cooperate. But I just think this is hilarious because this is true. You know, you can play with Bitcoin and, you know, do different infrastructure buildups like the Lightning Network, yet the XRP ledger is still going to be the main mechanism. 
It's it's very funny to me. Lastly, we're going to finish off with this. Jack the Rippler on Twitter. Profix is the head. MoneyGram, XRP, check. Visa, Earthport, XRP, check. Temenos T24, and XRP, check. Swift will benefit automatically. Everyone will use XRP. So let's check this out and see exactly what he's talking about. So Profix. This is a company is one of the first in the Ukrainian market implemented projects for implementation and localization of Temenos T24. All right. For our experts have participated in international projects for the implementation of T24 in the following banks, such as in Ukraine, Kazakh. Sorry if I pronounce these incorrectly, but Kazakhstan, Latvia, Russia and employees of the company provided consulting services related to both the implementation of T24 products and development of solutions on T24 platform under requirements of banks and local laws. The most significant results of the work are the interface between T24 and Bloomberg Request Builder, the interface between T24 and Internet Banking System, Bank World, CR2, the interface between T24 and Money Transfer System, MoneyGram. These interfaces are ready solutions for FIs with extensive customer parameterization and provided with detailed documentation. Also, Profix employees have extensive experience in the creation of complex reports for various purposes by the means of standard mechanisms of Temenos, T24, Enquiry, and CRF. They trust us. So this Profix company, more than 16 years experience, 10 countries, blah, 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 more than 120 customers using its services to access the SWIFT network. And again, in 2013, SWIFT appointed Profix as business partner with opportunity to promote, sell, and sometimes deliver the number of SWIFT's products and services. Again, Profix is completely aligned with SWIFT strategy, and we are confident this relationship will bring enormous benefits to SWIFT, to the SWIFT communities. All right. And as we scroll here, he actually posted this video, Jack the Rippler. And basically, this gentleman is just speaking and talking about how they're all on the same network today, you know, on this Temenos T24 stack. However, if everyone gets onto RippleNet on, you know, the Ripple network at the same time and you get away from all these Swift networks at the same time and become one trusted network, this way you can, you know, generate completely new value for customers that never could exist and never has existed before and get away from all the old legacy services, become more automated, create new reven revenue streams along with it. And honestly, it was, it was uh, pretty convincing. So very interested. And I know that these groups are exploring that, you know, T24 is only one component of everything that's happening in this space. And I feel, I feel like it deserves a lot more credit. And I think that Sam I am has really kind of you know, hit that home and focused on that a lot. So definitely check him out to the lifeboats on YouTube. But guys, hopefully that was just a quick video update. I did enjoy this. I know you guys are already aware that Bitcoin can move faster on the XRP ledger. Um, and that's just a sign. Remember, XRP ledger is agnostic or uh, value agnostic, I guess you could say, meaning it can transmit anything. You know, like the internet ledger protocol. And again, fiatleaks.com or fiatleak.com when i see the price of xrp exploding i'm going to come here and just watch and see all these bubbles just moving but all right guys hope you enjoyed hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next video